MLS Cup winners are in the house, but so too a World Cup winner, Bastian Schweinsteiger, back at Toyota Park. Lots of traveling fans too for the Seattle Sounders. Should be something very special indeed on this Saturday night. Two things to keep an eye on. Jovan Jones loves to get forward, so keep an eye on Solniak and Connor. How do they deal with him coming forward? But more importantly, can they get Jovan Jones to defend? This will look like a 4-2-3-1. Dempsey will move wide left. Harry Ship will push forward against a team where he was a homegrown player. But Jordan Morris has to start scoring goals. And he He's got to start scoring goals tonight. Ladero has it, can survey the scene from the byline. Looks at a decent cross, and Dempsey was wide open. But the reality is, when this ball goes wide, as a center back, you've only got one job to do, and that's to pick up Clint Dempsey. Chance for the fire to make an early impact, and it's Stefan Fry. Nikolic quietly has six goals in his last 10 games. Teammate of Jordan Morris is, of course, good cross again and a flicked header from Delu. And here's a chance for Nikolic. Oh, he goes down, and that is going to be a penalty. I'm okay with the call. It was borderline. Borderline. Early penalty conceded last week by Seattle 2 against Chicago. Can David Akam convert from the spots? No, he can't. And perhaps. Well, he just called encroachment. I think he called encroachment. Right now, I think he's calling Stefan Fry came off his line too soon. That's what he's calling. Wow. I think a sloppy penalty call, an iffy call, but then that. Nikolic, meanwhile. Well, there's no denying Nemanja Nikolic. Space for Dempsey. He goes for goal as well, and Clint Dempsey delivers. Seattle weren't behind for long. Jordan Morris is higher up the field, so then he can stretch the two center backs, and then it allows your two best players, Nicholas Ladero, Clint Dempsey, to find those spaces in behind Jordan Morris. How good is that? Delou, the cutback for a come oh, That's a beauty. David Akam. 19 goals, seven assists over the last two years. He's been their most exciting player. And he's been their most dangerous player tonight. Meanwhile, the cross towards Nikolic. He got a touch. And it's Solinyak who finishes it off. That's too easy. Especially when Nikolic doesn't get a clean touch on it. The deflection wide open to Solniak. Three goals for the Chicago Fire. Fire with the wind in their sails, and Kapilov going a long way. A calm could finish this, so oh, he tried to square it and did, and there it is! It's easy for David Akam to pull off the back shoulder of Tony Alfaro, slip it to Nikolic. It's been a disastrous second half for the Seattle Sounders on the road, while Nikolic scores his seventh goal in his last six games. To 1998, those early years under Bob Bradley. All those famous names, Peter Novak. Second yellow. Lubos Kubik. And that is the end of the night. For Jovin Jones, an unhappy return to the Windy City for the Trinidadian. He's compounding his misery. You have to imagine. All of those coming for the first time in some time will be back because they have seen the best performance in some time by this Chicago Fire and certainly the best results. A 4-1 victory against the reigning champions, Seattle Sounders.